Those who speak Spanish know that El Nino translates into English as the little boy. But in climate and weather, El Nino has quite another meaning. El Nino is a weather phenomenon that happens every few years. It starts in the waters of the Pacific when trade winds weaken, allowing warmer water to build and move east. This leads to higher sea surface temperatures off the coast of South America. You may think, how can those conditions possibly affect weather beyond that region? Well, everything is connected. When we shift weather patterns in one section of the world, that has an effect elsewhere. For example, in El Nino years, we often see heavier rain in parts of South America, drought in Western Pacific countries like Australia, and in general, more hurricanes in the Pacific, but slightly fewer in the Atlantic. Here in the United States, a strong El Nino could bring rain to drought-weary California and the Southwest. And in the East and Midwest, El Nino often means drier and warmer winters. Also, global surface temperatures across the planet generally rise during an El Nino. Those higher El Nino-induced temperatures lead to concerns about record heat. In combination with rising average surface temperatures due to global warming, a strong El Nino event could produce the hottest year on record.